Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to look at the fourth and final unknown package. So this is it, the final package. Number four of the packages that I had forgotten about and now can't remember uh, what's inside them. So I'd be very, very surprised if this is a diamond painting, considering the size. But the only way we can find out is by opening it. So this was ordered on Amazon. Um, try to get scissors. Um, this was ordered on Amazon at least three months ago and it has been sitting in here all that time i forgot to put a note on it so i don't know what's inside so i've cut the top and we'll have a look <coughs> so this is what it is and if i flip it over we can see ceramic tweezers but very different. So I had been on uh, Amazon, took me a bit of time to remember. I was on Amazon and I had been searching for like variations on tweezers to see if there was anything um, different that might work for diamond painting. And I saw these and I thought, okay, these are very different. And I thought, okay, we'll give them a try. So they are BMTD Vapor Tweezer version 3. And they are actually for people who vape, which is not me. But I saw they were tweezers and I thought, okay, they're different. So we'll open them up. and have a look so totally different from normal tweezers um, these are the tweezers that I use so just to give you an idea of size quite a bit shorter but they work differently there's a little I don't know if that's a spring no, it's not a spring. <coughs> it's actually just the, the plastic gives the springiness and you've got that little leg that actually opens up. So I thought maybe these would be of interest to some people who don't like narrow things. They need a bit more of a, a wider grip. Um, again, I'm thinking about people with arthritis because I know that holding narrow things causes problems um, and quite a bit of pain. So I was thinking maybe these would work or be better for people who have problems holding narrow stuff. But the only way to find out is to give it a try. So back to Foxy Lady from Diamond Art Club, which is the project that I'm working on at the moment. Um, <clears throat> just looking at these tweezers. Normally, when I hold tweezers, I have my thumb on one side and two fingers on the other to work them. These, I think, probably one finger and one thumb. You could hold them that way, I suppose. But I'll give them a try this way, I think. So ceramic tips, um, which makes sense if they are for vaping, because uh, things are hot, so they have the ceramic tip. So it stops the heat travelling up, and uh, it is also made of plastic. So, uh, autumn. Oh, 
forgot what I was doing there. Automatically, I'm putting my second finger here. So I'm holding them basically the same way that I would with uh, normal tweezers. And they work fine. Not sure if they'd be as comfortable as normal tweezers. But again, if you have problems with the narrowness of tweezers, this might be an option. Um, the, the ceramic tips are exactly the same as the tweezers I use. Just uh, try to find these symbols. And they feel okay, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. It just feels kind of weird, the um, shape. But don't need much pressure to squeeze them together, which is good. They are wider than normal tweezers. But you can see I'm, I'm not having any problems with them at all. So again, this was just something that I was thinking about. Um, it was really the ceramic tips that I sort of got interested in because um, I switched over to using ceramic tip tweezers um, quite a while back. And I started looking for different variations, um, thinking that maybe different shapes would suit different people. And then I saw these and I thought, okay, that is very different. You could use them with just thumb and forefinger. But I feel that um, they balance a bit better um, if you put your second finger on this little part here. But they, they definitely work. Don't really have any problems easy enough to manipulate the drills. That's what I like about tweezers, the fact that you can see everything. You don't have a pen over the top that sort of um, blocks the view of the back. Um, you can use them, you can see everything. It's easy to just gently push the drill to exactly where you want it. You can see everything and obviously no mess with pink wax so yeah i would say these are definitely a viable option if for whatever reason using this style of uh, tweezer doesn't really suit you maybe these would help yeah they, they work absolutely fine So this is the last of the, the mystery packages. It was just um, some packages that I had received and then forgot about. And when I found them, I couldn't remember what was inside them. So this is the fourth and final. From now on, I'm going to try and remember to put at least a stick it note on the packages. So I know what is inside them. Um, pretty much all of them, except one, have been uh, tweezer related. And I know that a lot of people don't use tweezers, they find them too awkward, too difficult, the, tw the, the drills fly off when you try and use them. But I think if you use a little bit of patience and find yourself a decent set of tweezers. Don't try the silver cheap ones that come with the kits. They, they're just too soft for this. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I use tweezers all the time, but as you saw, I did drop a drill, but the thing is it didn't shoot across the room. It landed about here. So um, once you get used to how much pressure to apply to pick up the drill, um, it becomes pretty easy. 
I never ever thought I would say that, but I still remember the first time I tried to use tweezers and the drill shot across the room and I thought, forget it. So I didn't attempt to use tweezers for at least a year. And uh, I built up quite a nice collection of custom pens though. So uh, now I'm starting to build up a collection of tweezers. Um, the last video that I did, um, it was actually a pair of tweezers that have a magnifying glass attached. And it actually worked. So I'll add a link to that if anybody's interested. If you have problems seeing the symbols and you're looking for a way to magnify um, without having to wear the, um, I don't know what you would call it, the visor that you put, you wear on your head and it has uh, like glasses that magnify and the problem with them is you have to flip them up every time you, you look away at anything um, but those tweezers with the magnifying glass they actually did work so as I said I will put a link up um, for anybody that might be interested and you can have a look at them so, yeah, these do work, surprisingly. Um, I still prefer normal tweezers, but I'm just thinking that, as I said, some people, the this design may actually work better for you. So that was the fourth and final mystery. Um, four different things that, I had ordered quite a, a long time ago and forgot about, forgot to label, so I didn't know what was in them. So I decided to do them uh, one after the other and get them done and learn my lesson. From now on, when things arrive, I will stick a stick it note on them, reminding me what is inside. So a lot of them, it was all tweezers, which I know um, won't appeal to a lot of people. Um, most diamond painters seem to stick to using diamond painting pens, but for the people who are willing to uh, take the chance, it was maybe uh, some food for thought in the, the previous videos. Um, I also did have a diamond painting that I totally forgot I had ordered. That was a surprise because I didn't think it was a diamond painting that was in the package. So um, yeah, these things are different. Definitely different, very small, but they work. They aren't intended for diamond painting, but none of the tweezers are. Um, I don't know of any tweezers that were designed specifically for diamond painting. They've all been designed for other things and diamond painters have found out that they work for diamond painting, so they use them. Um, this is a very unique design. Um, <clears throat> it's made of plastic but it feels as if it would last for a long time. Um, ceramic tips which personally I've found uh, work better than the steel tips. I just feel they, they hold the drills better. Um, it's not metal against plastic so I don't know. Um, it's just maybe just me. I don't know. If you use ceramic tip tweezers, please let me know. And if you do decide to try them after watching a few of these different videos, please let me know what you think. Um, do you think they work better than the steel ones? Um, or do you think it's just my imagination? Please feel free to comment. So that is it for today. If you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, some unusual stuff as well, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live and you can see what I'm working on. At the moment it is Foxy Lady from Diamond Art Club. I am getting close to finishing, I think maybe a week and it should be done. After that, I will be taking on um, something pretty different, 197 colour diamond painting.
called Outside the Sweet Shop. Um, that is going to be quite a task. So if you're interested in watching me struggle through that one, please subscribe and watch out for the YouTube lives. Then you can join in and uh, have a laugh as I struggle to look through 197 different symbols trying to find the one that I need at that time. So that is uh, pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.